So this is the Xbox Adaptive Controller, a relatively new device from Microsoft uh, that you could use for a computer or the Xbox game system that allows you to plug in non-traditional controlling devices. This is handy for people with limited mobility who can't operate a normal sort of gaming controller, uh, but allow them to to use other methods. The controller itself is pretty, well, you can't really do much with it out of the box, let me be honest. You have a directional pad and these are giant buttons. A button, B button. So you really need external inputs to make this work. And they sell inputs that you could get buttons and things like that and the way that they interface is very clean and simple and a really clever idea they use 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch headphone jack mono or stereo will work connections in the back and each of these x y b right left everything else can accept a plug and then you could plug it to a button. So you could have giant foot buttons that you mash on or whatever you need. That's really cool. You can buy buttons. They're very expensive. I don't like that because that makes it less accessible to people, right? I mean, it's already difficult enough. So here's my thought. I want to interface with these, make my own buttons, use my own things. Uh, I got to connect to it with uh, the 3.5 mil plugs. Well, you could buy the cords with like, or you could ruin a bunch of headphone cords or do whatever you want with that. Uh, it's a better way. On good old Amazon, of course, lovely Chinese imports, so they give me this, I don't know, that teeny tiny rag, but I'll put that there. But here's the cool thing. You can purchase these plugs that are designed to just take two pieces of wire and screw them in there. No soldering, no messing around. Uh, yeah, they're bulky. Yeah, they aren't sexy. But for prototyping, they're absolutely perfect. Because I could then just use regular speaker wire to go to whatever. Added bonus, which I was really lucky, and this is what I was worried about is that these particular ones fit in here almost as if it were designed for it. So the, even though they're big and bulky, oh my goodness, they actually fit. And I had to get 20 of them because this thing has 18 inputs, potential inputs in the back. I don't think I use all 18, but look at that. Isn't that cool? So now I got a really quick, easy way to plug stuff in and I can experiment without oh my god I'm ruining a wire or whatever a lot easier so that's recommendation there this is uh, the CG time 3.5 millimeter mono converter adapter they also sell stereo which will work but you don't need the stereo the mono so that was neat okay so th that handles the buttons what about the joysticks well on the side of the device on both sides that side and that side has a USB port the idea is that you buy like two big flight sticks or other sort of accessible sticks and you know any sort of USB device joystick and plug them in the sides then you got left and right which would replace left and right here, all right? So left and right here would be those external sticks. Again, I don't want to go buy joysticks. I want to do my own thing. Well, I reached back into my microscope project and I, had, and I thought to myself, man, I've got this cool joystick design, 3D printed, uses a PS2, actually same kind of joystick as in here, as you can see. And as a test, I thought, oh, 
yeah, let me let me do this. Now, for somebody who doesn't have real great motor movements, I'd probably have to have a bigger joystick. This is testing, but I wanted to, again, it's proof of concept stuff. So in my microscope project, this is being read by a microcontroller. So the microcontroller reads the potentiometer values here and sends it and does its work. Well, that's not USB. Wah, wah, wah. What do you do there? Well, I thought to myself, I know people have used Arduino and whatnot for projects to make their own joysticks. Uh, flight controllers, which use a lot of, lot of, lot of switches, use it. So I remembered there is an Arduino, a Leonardo, which can act as a USB keyboard or mouse device. Oh, ho, ho, I think I'm getting closer. And lo and behold, here is this little microcontroller that has the micro USB, and I could wire in the joystick stuff into here, and this will act as the interface between the analog data I'm receiving from the joystick and then outputting it, hopefully, to a USB format that the Microsoft controller will like, which will then send it all up into the upstream computer or Xbox device. This part, here's the inside of one of them that I printed. This is the original model. Well, wah, wah. not big enough to fit this chip in here, but there is plenty of space. So that background noise you've been hearing is me 3D printing a new version of the bottom, which this is kind of a work in progress, but I'll be able to have the microcontroller sitting in there. The joystick will be like there. USB plug here and the USB cord will go down into the Xbox adaptive controller. So I'll be able to wire up my own buttons with these very handy connectors that fit. I'm so happy about that. And hopefully be able to use my own joystick technology with the little Arduino here, Leonardo Pro Micro is what you'll also, these are about six bucks a piece on Amazon, get them in packs of three. And uh, I hope that works, we'll see. So stay tuned for more. I just wanted to get you started on this. Uh, really excited about uh, making gaming more accessible and less expensive and more customized.